Hello everyone and welcome to today's Lifeboat Distribution exclusive webcast to train and assist you in acquiring your VEAM VMSP certification. By now most of you know who I am. My name is Don Grease. I am the Manager of Business Development and Vendor Programs here at Lifeboat Distribution. And it's always a pleasure to host these webcasts because you guys are always such a great audience. Thank you for attending today. It is our objective today to teach you how to position Veeam Backup and Replication so that you can sell more consistently and recognize strong Veeam opportunities more easily. And we also want to help your organization capture the number of VMSP certifications they need in order to meet Veeam's Pro Partner program requirements for the silver, gold, and platinum tiers. Before we get started, I also want to thank you all for entrusting us to provide you this training. Here at Lifeboat Distribution, we take pride in being the most prepared distribution partner for you to work with. We do truly strive to be an extension of the Veeam sales team, and to that end, we offer you a full-time dedicated VMSP and VMTSP certified sales specialist, who I will introduce you to in a minute. Um, and with apologies to LeBron James, we have not one, not two, not three, not four, we have five VMTSP technically certified resources here, and we additionally offer 20 VMSP certified sales professionals. So Lifeboat has chosen to make these investments in order to bring you unparalleled service, accuracy, response time, and pre-sales support in order to help you grow your Veeam business. Now to the main attraction. Joining me to present the training today is Mike Sutton, our own Lifeboat Distribution Veeam Sales Specialist. Mike is a VMSP and VMTSP and is a tremendous resource for you to help you with all of your Veeam business and help you grow that Veeam business. So welcome, Mike. Thank you, Don. Thanks for doing this today. No problem. That's what I'm here for. I know. So back to LeBron for a second. Who do you like tonight? I love the heat. LeBron love the heat. It all. All right. Mike says it's the heat tonight. So... Um, don't let that discourage you, though, you guys in Texas, because, yeah, just don't worry about it. All right, so I know your time is valuable, but before we begin, I want you to know we do encourage you to ask questions, and you may do that by entering your questions in the Q&A panel on the right-hand side of the screen. And at the conclusion of the presentation, we will answer as many of those questions as time permits, and we are also going to give away a $100 Amex gift card to one lucky attendee before we sign off. So let's get started. And uh, Mike, you can, you can jump right in, share your desktop. <clears throat> All right, thank you, Don. First, I just wanted to introduce myself a little more uh, than Don just mentioned. Uh, as he said, my name is Michael Sutton and I'm the Veeam Lifeboat Sales Specialist here. Uh, what I do exactly here is uh, a couple different things. Uh, one of the things that Don mentioned is uh, our whole team here is certified in the VMSP, and we have five VMTSP trained uh, members here. I was responsible for getting everyone certified here just to show that Lifeboat could add that value to our resellers, that we could be used for a valuable resource if it comes down to it, if you need our assistance on something. Also, in addition to that, I could be used for any licensing questions, helping out quoting, in addition to the reps that you have here at Lifeboat. I, I do a little bit of traveling on behalf of Lifeboat and Veeam, uh, whether it be customer-facing events. Uh, I've been to a couple end-user events as well with some Veeam reps, and also done a couple lunch and learns. I'd be happy to get on calls with your customers if need be, as long as it's not too technical now, because I am not an SE, but I am certified here to help them out. Uh, and then lastly, uh, I'm a good point of contact between Lifeboat and Veeam. Uh, many times I know it can be difficult to find out who your Veeam rep is in your territory, and I've fortunately developed pretty good relationships with many of the Veeam reps, uh, whereas I could get you in touch with them and you know help you on each opportunity. So with that being said, we'll move forward here. I'm going to share my desktop. Okay, so what I'm going to show you here is basically how to, one, 
I'm going to show you how to become certified and also the process to get it because it can be a little confusing if you haven't done it before. So first, you can go to Veeam.com and once you're here, you could hover over this partner symbol here and you'll see you have a couple options here. So if your company's not signed up at all, you would click the Pro Partner Program under Become a Partner. But if you're already signed up, you go right to the Pro Partner Portal. Now here you could see you could sign in, or if you have not applied yet, if you don't have a Pro Partner login, you could apply right here from this screen. Now before I go ahead and log in, I just want to go over the requirements that Veeam has now set for the partners, uh, because they are slightly changed than they were earlier in the year. Veeam has added one partner level, which is registered, and that's basically just allows you to sell Veeam. And then you have the partner levels that you all may be familiar with of silver, gold, and platinum. Silver, you're required to now have one sales and one technical certification. Gold, two sales and two technical, technical certifications. And then platinum, four sales and two technical certifications. Each level comes with a money guarantee as well of what level you have to hit of revenue, but we're not going to go into that today. We're just going to focus on the certification part of everything. So now with that being said, I'm going to log in here. Bear with me one second, just to show you the full process of how to actually log in to see the uh, training. Now my screen took me straight to it, which it wasn't supposed to, so I'll go back for you just to show everything. So okay, you'll see the, these options here once you actually log in. You'll have the home page, which most people would see first, um, and then workplace programs, promotions, etc. Now, mine might be slightly different because I am the distributor, but it all is very similar to this. So to get to the training, you'll go right to the Learning Center. From here, you'll click to the Veeam Univers University because this is where all their courses are offered. Now, you can see these personal certificates right here. Since I've uh, done all these certifications, you could see the check mark what you've completed and if you need to complete anything else. So once you scroll down, you could enter the Veeam University. This usually takes about a second to load up. And now here's where you have all your options. Now for those who have not taken any classes, the first thing you want to do is actually go into the course catalog. In the course catalog, it's going to list all of the options you have. Uh, you know, it could just be PowerPoints, it could be other certification tests, but the only one Beam requires, requires is for backup and replication. So as you can see, I've already added these here, so I don't have the option to do it. But you, what you would want to do is first you would want to end the Veeam Backup and Replication VMSP, and that'll be the PowerPoint to cover what's going to go over, what they're actually going to ask in the test. And then you would also want to add the test. So once those are added, they'll both pop up here in your VMSP section, and you'll be able to choose which ones you want. So Veeam Backup and Replication VMSP is the one we're going to want to do. These are actually the PowerPoints up here, and then down here is where we actually have the test. Now, before I click into the test, I just want to let you know, in order to pass the test, you're required to get an 80 or above on it. The test is 20 questions long, and it's 20 minutes. They ask one question at a time, but you can go back to the questions once you uh, have completed the others. Uh, so if you want to skip a question, feel free to do that. In order to be able to get here, like I mentioned earlier, you must have a login, and if you don't, I showed you that spot before where you can actually uh, sign up to become a partner, uh, to become a member of the partner portal. So now I'm going to click into the test. Okay, so here it is. So a couple things to remember before I actually go into the test. It won't normally show up like this. This is just because I took a pass, uh, took the test and passed there. But a couple things to remember is that just remember that this is actually a sales test. They're not going to get too technical on this test, and I know we've all taken these certification tests before, so some of the questions can be confusing, but Veeam kind of revisited their old test and said, you know, we don't want to try to confuse our partners. We actually want to try to assist them in learning the product and help them benefit, benefit them by teaching them actually how they could sell it and what backup and replication actually is. So a couple of things moving forward that you want to remember is that Veeam is completely virtual. There's going to be questions that bring up virtualization, anything uh, related to physical, and they may be, I guess, trying to trick you on those ones, but always remember that it's a virtual product. 
The other thing you want to remember is Veeam is completely agentless. It's built for VMware and Hyper-V only. One of the more common questions that come across is that, is, is it available for, for Citrix? And the answer is no. It's just Hyper-V and VMware only. So remember that moving forward on the test as well. Also, a couple of the key words you want to remember are vPower and Shore Backup. vPower was a patent-pending product that Veeam developed, and it enables customers to start a VM directly from a compressed and deduplicated de file. This is something that's brought up also on the test multiple times, so you always want to remember what that is. Sure Backup. Sure Backup is the automated, automated check to ensure 100% reliability. This is what they call their backup verification. Rather than have to do this manually, Veeam has Sure Backups, which do this automatically and saves you time, and also, like I mentioned, has 100% reliability. And lastly, before I get into the test to show you what the questions are like, Always remember that there's the three main features of Veeam, according to the Veeam testing, is fast backups, fast recoveries, and reliable recoveries. So with that being said, this is where you would go and click into the test. For me, I'll click redo test. So once this loads up, you'll see this where it tells you you have 20 minutes, you have 20 questions, and they're one by one. Now, unfortunately for those hoping that I was going to give all the answers. I'm not going to do that today. I'm just going to go through the questions so you can see the types of questions you'll be asked and you know what you might be faced with. So starting with question one. As I mentioned earlier, Veeam had something that was a patent pending product. They'll throw a few different options in there, a couple that aren't really related to the question, but the key is that you really want to focus on the main topics that I discussed earlier. So for this one, you know, like I said, I can't answer the questions for you, but vPower and Sure Backup were their two main features that they wanted to talk about during their test. So now this is good because it's showing a couple different uh, styles of questions they have here. So this one, it doesn't tell you how many actually apply, but <clears throat> it, it does want you to click all that apply here. So it's asking you to apply everything that uh, applies to the backup and replica replication. Now, like I said, a couple of these features that I discussed earlier will still be brought up in here. And also in that slide deck that you're supposed to watch beforehand, this, that will definitely help you in passing the test. On this one, you would read through each one and click the amount that you believe are the ones that are the correct answers here. Again, this is the same type of format uh, with click all that apply, choosing the key arguments you should focus on while selling Veeam backup from replication and dealing with typical customers' objections. Again, this is something that you should look into the slide deck beforehand just to confirm the correct answers on here. Okay, and then this is one of the other styles of questions they have here. So they'll give you a match the bracket, I'm sorry, the backup method with recommended usage case. So basically what they do here is they fill in these two answers, but really there's only two options. Now, you can't use the same one for both, so one is going to be for here and one will be for here. So with that being said, make sure you don't repeat answers because it will mark it as an incorrect answer. Make sure you definitely have the opposite on these. Okay, another thing that they're going to have are true-false questions. And now, this is one of their questions that they consider uh, a trick question. Introducing multiple agents into backup process significantly increases server performance and makes Veeam's backup solution cost effective for customers. When reading that question, you're going to look at it and think, you know what, that makes sense. Uh, it's making it more cost effective. But the trick here is that Veeam is agentless. So you basically ignore everything they say in it because they're bringing up agents. So right away, that's going to make a statement like this not true. Another question where you have to choose all that apply. What are some of the shortcomings of protecting virtualized data with traditional backup tools? Now remember, this is a Veeam sales test, so try to relate everything to Veeam. Other solutions may not have the same shortcomings, but just do everything that applies to Veeam on this one. This is the virtualization platforms that we discussed earlier. Like I said, one of the biggest questions we get is, is Veeam supporting Citrix? The answer is no to that. It's VMware and Hyper-V. So these questions 
are pretty straightforward. Here's the question about vPower technology. Again, vPower enables customers to start a VM directly from a compressed and deduplicated file. So in this question, you would choose all that apply to that with that exact definition. Here we have another one where you have to match up the feature to its function. UAIR is one of the main features they have, uh, and that's the item level recovery. And then you have the virtual lab down here, which is the virtual lab is basically an environment that you could go into and it will, you could do the testing in it. So I'll help you out on this one here. So like I said, this one, it goes in and recovers the individual files. And then the file level recovery, it can be confused with UAIR, but you have to remember that they are a little different here. Because like I said, you have to make sure you have different answers on it. So this would be able to restore the Windows guest files directly from the image level backup. And, there, and then the instant VM recovery, that's correct there, where you restart a VM directly from the backup. Here it's asking you how fast uh, organizations could decrease the downtime and allow them to restart a VM. Uh, again, I guess this is one of the tougher ones. They don't really cover this in the slides. It's Veeam is very fast for what they do here, um, but it, well, I'll just be honest with you, it can't be done in a couple seconds or 30 seconds. So the best answer there would be uh, a little above that, if you know what I'm saying. Here again, we have the matching up the uh, definition to the drop down. So the best way to look at, at these are read the definition and, and read the choices because they'll kind of give it away to you in some of them. So for example, on number two here, it says use a solution for performing both backup and replication. If you're using both, it's kind of like a two-in-one product. So you always have to look for these tricks that they have in the test to you know, help you out passing. So it's something simple like that. And then they're going to repeat some of the things that they go over earlier. So as we discussed earlier, the isolated environments that's going to be that virtual lab. So always look for, you know, keywords in the questions to help you, you know, help yourself out while taking the actual test. What are the key points to be stressed in a VM backup and replication sales pitch? We discussed this earlier. This is one of the main things I pointed out in the beginning. When you have to say the three top things for Veeam, they want to say it's fast, it's fast, and it's reliable. So make sure that you note that for the backups, the recoveries, and again, the reliable recovery. How can you ensure that your backups are 100% recoverable? That would be very nice if Veeam developed a tool, and they did, the Sure Backup technology. That's what the Sure Backup is there for, the 100% reliability. It'll do the backups for you so you don't have to worry about it on yourself. Here's a question that you're gonna have to look at these slides for. It's asking you the type of backup that it is. I can't tell you which one it is, but just read the slides and you'll know which one uh, it is. It gives a breakdown of all the types of backups that Veeam actually has. And an elevator pitch. This is kind of their sales 101 that they're teaching here. And they're saying, what is it? Is it to sell a solution? Is it to identify a customer's current issue? Is it to immediately catch their attention? Or is it to tell them about product features? So. Veeam, the way they put their pitches, that they want to catch the customer's attention as fast as possible because that's the most important thing, and then you could go into everything else. Which of the following backup and replication features streamlines deployment and maintenance of remote office, branch office, and large installation? This is another one that the slides will teach you uh, a little more in depth on. It's, uh, this is one of the tougher questions they have on here. It was actually newly added to it recently. But once you read those slides, you'll understand which ones that you should be uh, clicking there to. Which technology helps businesses to reach higher availability and improve operational agility? Now you see the options here. You have server consolidation, virtualization, or in integration. Again, one of the main points I pointed out earlier, they try to stress that they are virtual in this test. They're, they'll bring it up in many different ways, but always remember that it's virtual. 
Which edition of Veeam Backup and Replication is positioned as a lead generator? Now, this question could be a little tricky to some uh, because Veeam technically right now has two versions. They have the standard and the enterprise. They do also have a free version, which a couple people you know aren't familiar with because that's just a product that is out there actually basically for a lead generator. Um, Veeam will be releasing a new plus version, but that is a couple months away once V7 comes out. So right now, it's only going to be a standard or enterprise or the free version on this. And as I mentioned, the standard is the product without the full functionality. The enterprise is the product with full functionality. And the free is what is there to generate leads for them. OK, we have another drop-down menu here that will match it up. These were all topics that were covered earlier in the test. So again, just make sure you read the descriptions and match them up with the best one. And then lastly, choose all that apply to the Veeam backup and replication. This is uh, another question just to show what, you know, what does Veeam actually do. So we know it's agentless. We know that it's, it speeds up backup recovery and virtualized applications and data. Here's one. It says it's a legacy backup tool that runs multiple agents. If you're clicking the first one, we know that we won't click the third one because they contradict each other there. And Veeam is agentless, so it wouldn't be that one. And then also, they're pointing it out again that Veeam specifically is designed for virtual environments. So then once you're completed, as I said, you could go back to any question that you want. You could see, you know, say you had trouble with number five, go back there, and you could answer that question. At all times, it will have the time up here just so you know where you're at. And if you need any, you know, more time, then you better hurry up because you only got nine minutes and 50 seconds left. But that is basically the Veeam test. Uh, you guys are more than welcome to, you know, use me if you need assistance with these tests on anything. Uh, I've helped multiple resellers get their reps certified, and I'd be more than happy to help you as well. Now I'm going to pass it back to Don. All right, Mike, thank you very much for going through the test with us. I have a couple of questions for you, actually, about the test. So, um, when one of our um, when one of our attendees here today goes into the test, are they going to see exactly the same questions that you just went through? They do have about, I would say, 25 to 30 total questions. So I've taken this test, like I said, multiple times now. And for the most part, you'll, you'll see about 15 of the same questions per test, but they will, will change out a few questions on there. OK, but as long as, as long as these guys stick to sort of those fundamentals that you described, no matter how they word the question, those are the things that they're, that they're going to have to remember and um, that will drive them to a successful completion of the test. Yes, that is correct. It will always be based around those fundam fundamentals that I mentioned earlier and went over throughout the test. Okay. Well, ladies and gentlemen, um, if this makes you feel better, it, believe it or not, when I took this test, I got a 97. So if, if I could pass this test, I am highly confident that you guys will all do very well on this. Um, my best tip to you is do look at the PowerPoint before you take the test the first time. Because like Mike said, there are some things that are in the test that um, may not be completely straightforward. And if you at least have a look at that PowerPoint, um, it should help you get to where you need to be to pass this test. All right. Um, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to look for some questions. Um, so if at this time, if there's anything that, you know, kind of struck you as Mike was walking through the test, um, enter your questions now through the chat panel, and uh, we will do our best to answer them for you. So let me let me get to some questions. Okay, here's one. Would we get the recording for this exclusive webinar too, as we get for other webinars? Yes. Um, uh, you certainly will get a link to the recording for this. Um, if it's helpful to you to review before you take your test, that would be great. But I would also um, ask you to share that link with your colleagues um, so that if uh, you know somebody who would have wanted to have uh, taken this training today but, but were unable to, 
um, it will be a great opportunity for them to see it and review it at their leisure. So yes, we're happy to provide it for you. Um, next question, um, are there unlimited attempts at the test? So Mike, I'll let you take that one. There are unlimited uh, attempts at the test, but I believe it's you're allowed to do it three times within 24 hours. So if you don't pass it um, those three times, then you would have to wait another 24 hours before you could retake it. But you are allowed to take an unlimited amount of times with that little time break in between. Okay, more questions coming in. Okay, and thank you for, uh, for the note about passing it on to your sales folks. We really appreciate that. Um, um, somebody, unfortunately, isn't getting audio from this presentation. Um, um, I would suggest maybe trying to dial back in and, and see if that helps. And the dial-in information uh, you can find in the event info tab. All right. So a couple of things to do yet. Um, and I'm going to get to it straight away. Um, the next thing is, as I promised, we're going to give away a $100 Amex gift card. And while I'm doing this, um, I'm going to ask Mike if he's changed his mind about tonight's Game 7. I still am confident that uh, the Heat are going to take it. They got all the momentum from last game, and LeBron looks like he's, he's mad about something out there, and he's really going to take it to the, the old Spurs. The old Spurs. Don't listen to him. Go Spurs! All right, now, um, for today, the winner um, of our $100 uh, Amex gift card is Doug Kinney from Rapid Green Technologies. Um, so congratulations, Doug. Um, we will get you that gift card in the mail uh, very shortly. And thank you for attending. Thank everybody. Uh, for attending. We're not quite done yet. Um, oh, here we go. Good. I'm getting some backing from Spurs fans. <laughs> Thank you, guys. Thank you. Um, we're going to go to our call to action now. Um, this is just a bit of information to help make it a little easier for you guys to um, earn your, your VMSP certification. Um, the number one thing to do is go take the test. Um, there's a link here that will uh, direct you to the Pro Partner uh, login um, that Mike showed you earlier. Um, of course, if you are not signed up um, yet as a Pro Partner, um, you can click the link that I show here. Um, there's actually two ways to do it. You can utilize this link, um, which will take you to our site, and we will um, uh, use that to sign you up as a Pro Partner, or if you're already on the Veeam Pro Partner, portal, you can register there. If you have any issues whatsoever, um, you always have your Lifeboat sales team at the ready to assist you. Um, so contact your Lifeboat rep. They'll walk you through um, you know, whatever issues you are having. Everybody here is taking the test. As I mentioned earlier, we have 20 uh, VMSP certified sales pros. So we're happy to help you out as much as we can. Um, here's another question for Mike. Is there a single logon for our company, or do all our staff have to create separate accounts? In order to have the rep certified, you would actually need individual accounts. Um, for example, though, if your company, take Lifeboat, for example, Lifeboat has signed up with Veeam to become you know, a distributor. If your company wants to sign up to be a reseller, that would be the first step. And then, like Lifeboat had to do, we had to have all the individual reps sign up as a uh, to get into the partner portal. So all the individual actually sales reps would have to get their own accounts in order to take the test. Okay. Uh, another question. We source Veeam from Lifeboat usually, so what is the incentive for us if I do these sales or technical certifications? So the incentive for that is, I mean, now Veeam is requiring it. So in order to be a silver or a gold or a platinum partner, you're going to have to have a certain amount of certifications in order to be able to get the discount. So that is the incentive that Veeam's pushing forward through uh, right now. And then another incentive is, I know it's always good to have a certification 
you know, it, whether it be in your sig signature or just to mention to customers because it can make them trust you a little more than, you know, someone else who doesn't have that certification. All right. Excellent point. Um, if you have any last questions, folks, uh, please get them in now. Um, otherwise, um, feel free to contact your lifeboat rep or Mike um, it, should you think of something later. Um, Mike is the lifeboat distribution beam sales specialist. Um, I'm going to ask you guys all a big favor at this point also. Um, we would love to know when you've earned your VMSP certification. Um, so once you take the test and you've been certified, uh, please email either Mike at his email address or the veeam at lifeboatdistribution.com email address. Let us know that you were successful. Um, you know, if, if this works out and it becomes um, something that made it easier for you to obtain these certifications, it's likely something that we'll continue to do from time to time. Um, so give us an idea of how it goes for you, and uh, we really appreciate that feedback from you very much. All right, one last check for questions. And it looks like we're, we're good to go. Um, so enjoy the game tonight. Go Spurs. Um, Mike? Go Heat. Okay. Well, there you go. Thank you, guys. It'll be a great game seven. Thanks for everything. We hope you found this, um, this valuable today, this presentation on the VMSP training. Listen, Veeam's a great partner. Um, they're great to work with. Their, their sales team is excellent. Um, so get your certification. That'll help you sell more Veeam, grow your deals, all that good stuff. It'll help your company move up the Veeam partner ladder. Um, and so we encourage you to, to do all of that. And um, other than that, I'm just going to say thank you again. You guys are great partners. You're always uh, great on our webinars. We enjoy doing them for you. And we hope to see you all again real soon um, for our next webinar. Um, but until then, from everybody at Lifeboat Distribution, thank you and have a great day. Bye now.